Welcome back again. Your ultimate guide to Canadian citizenship journey. Question. Who has the right to enter and leave Canada at will? A. Prisoners. B. Members of the Commonwealth. C. Canadian citizens. D. Job seekers. The answer is C. Canadian citizens. Question. In what sorts of jobs do most Canadians work? A. Service. B. Lumbering. C. Farming. D. Natural resources. The answer is A. Service. Question. Canadians work hard to respect. A. Marxism. B. Pluralism. C. Capitalism. D. Individualism. The answer is B. Pluralism. Question. When is Labor Day celebrated in Canada? A. The 1st of July. B. The 1st Monday of September. C. The 1st of May. D. The 3rd Monday of October. The answer is B. The 1st Monday of September. Question. Where is the most important harbor in eastern Canada located? A. Vancouver. B. Yellowknife. C. Halifax. D. Quebec. The answer is C. Halifax. Question. Who chose Ottawa as the capital of Canada? A. Queen Elizabeth I. B. Queen Elizabeth II. C. Queen Victoria. D. Queen Anne. The answer is C. Queen Victoria. Question. What are the three levels of government in Canada? A federal provincial and county. B. Federal state and city. C. Federal provincial or territorial and municipal. D. Federal provincial and rural. The answer is C. Federal, provincial or territorial and municipal. Question. Where do the majority Métis live in Canada? A. Central Canada. B. The North. C. Prairie Provinces. D. The Maritimes. The answer is C. Prairie Provinces. Question. What does MPP stand for? A. Member of the Provincial Parachute. B. Member of the Provincial Police. C. Member of the Provincial Parliament. D. Member of the Provincial Publication. The answer is C. Member of the Provincial Parliament. Question. Which of the following is a non-Canadian not allowed to do? A. Leave the country at will. B. Contact his or her MP. C. Take the Canada citizenship test. D. Vote in federal and provincial elections. The answer is D. Vote in federal and provincial elections. Question. What are the parties that are not in power called? A. Tea parties. B. Opposition parties. C. Rival parties. D. Opponents parties. The answer is B. Opposition parties. Question. Which of the following criterion gives a Canadian the right to vote? 
A. Owning a house. B. Being on an official voter's list. C. Having a driver's license. D. Being an immigrant. The answer is, B. Being on an official voter's list. Question. Who is the king's representative in Canada? A. The Premier. B. The Prime Minister's spouse. C. The Governor General of Canada. D. The Prime Minister. The answer is C. The Governor General of Canada. Question. What is a part of our heritage under the Canadian legal system? A freedom under law. B. Democratic principles and due process. C. Rule of law. D. All of the above. The answer is D. All of the above. Question. How many Canadians have been awarded the Victoria Cross? A. 96. B. 500. C. 2. D. 122. The answer is, a. Uh, 96. Question. Which of the following are the three founding peoples of Canada? A. American French and British. B. Aboriginal French and British. C. French American and Indian. D. British American and Aboriginal. The answer is, B. Aboriginal French and British. Question. Where are the Parliament buildings located? A. Toronto. B. Kingston. C. London. D. Ottawa. The answer is, D. Ottawa. Question. If you are unable to vote on election day how do you vote? A. Vote at advance polls. B. Forget it. C. Vote the next day after election. D. Vote a week later. The answer is, a. Uh, vote at advance polls. Question. Which province has the most valuable forest industry in Canada? A. Ontario. B. Alberta. C. Quebec. D. British Columbia. The answer is D. British Columbia. Question. What are the three branches of the Canadian government? A. Executive Senate and Judicial. B. Executive Legislative and Monarchy. C. Executive Police and Judicial. D. Executive Legislative and Judicial. The answer is. D. Executive Legislative and Judicial. Question. Which act granted for the first time in Canada legislative assemblies elected by the people? A. The Constitutional Act of 1982. B. The Constitutional Act of 1891. C. The Constitutional Act of 1791. D. The Constitutional Act of 1972. The answer is, C. The Constitutional Act of 1791. Question. Which of the following is the federal government responsible for? A. Highways. B. For natural resources. C. Education. D. Interprovincial trade and communications. The answer is, D. Interprovincial trade and communications. Question. 
What are the members of the House of Commons also known as? A commissioners. B. Members of Parliament or MPS. C. Members of the Provincial Parliament MPPS. D. None of these. The answer is B. Members of Parliament or MPS. Question. What are the colors present in the Canadian flag? A. Blue and white. B. Red and white. C. Green and white. D. Red and blue. The answer is B. Red and white. Question. Which country lies on Canada's southern border? A. Central America. B. Mexico. C. Michigan. D. United States of America. The answer is D. United States of America. Question. To what ocean is Newfoundland closest? A. Atlantic. B. Pacific. C. Labrador. D. Arctic. The answer is A. Atlantic. Question. Who signs the bills to make them law? A. The police chief. B. Governor general. C. Premier. D. Prime minister. The answer is B. Governor general question. Question. Which is the most famous invention of research in Motion Rim a wireless communications company? A. The Conodarm. B. The first wireless voice message. C. The Blackberry. D. The iPhone. The answer is C. The Blackberry. Question. What is the reason behind the Canada and U.S. border? A. To improve security. B. To maintain distance. C. Canada wishes to remain independent of the United States. D. To prevent war between the two countries. The answer is C. Canada wishes to remain independent of the United States. Question. Who were the first people Aboriginal people living in Canada? A. American and British. B. Spanish. C. French and Chinese. D. Indians First Nations and Inuits Eskimos. The answer is. D. Indians First Nations and Inuits Eskimos. Question, what did the Canadian Pacific Railway symbolize? A. Easy access to the West Coast. B. What can be achieved by working together? C. Unity. D. Ribbons of Steel. The answer is. C. Unity. Question. What was significant about the Canadian Navy at the end of the Second World War? A. It was the third largest navy in the world. B. It was the fourth largest navy in the world. C. It was the largest navy in the world. D. It was the second largest navy in the world. The answer is, A. Uh, it was the third largest navy in the world. Question. Which oceans line Canada's frontiers? A. The Pacific Ocean in the west. B. The Atlantic Ocean in the east. C. The Arctic Ocean to the north. D. All of the above. The answer is D. All of the above. Question. 
Which sport has the greatest number of registered players in Canada? A lacrosse. B. Soccer. C. Curling. D. Basketball. The answer is B. Soccer. Question. When were female Canadian citizens over the age of 21 granted the right to vote in federal elections? A. 1933. B. 1928. C. 1818. D. 1918. The answer is. D. 1918. Question. How many Canadians served in World War II? A more than 1 million. B. Less than 500,000. C. About 900,000. D. About 500,000. The answer is, a. Uh, more than 1 million. Question. Who among these is a Nobel Prize winning scientist? A. Gerhard Herzberg. B. Marshall McLuhan. C. Alexander Graham Bell. D. Harold Innes. The answer is A. Gerhard Herzberg. Question. Who discovered insulin? A. Dr. Wilder Penfield. B. Matthew Evans and Henry Woodward. C. Sir Frederick Banting and Charles Best. D. Dr. Jonathan Hopps. The answer is C. Sir Frederick Banting and Charles Best. Question. Who have major responsibilities on First Nations reserves? A. Ban chiefs and councillors. B. Municipal governments. C. Provincial and territorial governments. D. Federal government. The answer is A. Ban chiefs and councillors. Question. What are the three main types of industry in Canada? A. Natural Resources Manufacturing and Services B. Mining Services and Manufacturing C. Oil Tourism and Manufacturing D. Fishery Tourism and Services The answer is A. Natural Resources Manufacturing and Services Question. What is a major river in Quebec? A. Hudson's Bay. B. Niagara. C. Fraser River. D. St. Lawrence River. The answer is D. St. Lawrence River. Question. Who signs the bills if it is approved by the provincial parliament? A. The Mayor. B. Dalton McGinty. C. Members of the Provincial Parliament. D. The Lieutenant Governor. The answer is D. The Lieutenant Governor. Question. Since when has the protocol for the amendment of the Canadian Constitution existed? A. 1962. B. 1982. C. 1885. D. 1972. The answer is B. 1982. Question. Where do the English and French have equal status in Canada? A. In the workplace. B. In schools. C. In the Parliament of Canada. D. At the City Hall. The answer is C. In the Parliament of Canada. Question. 
How large is Canada? A. About 8 million square kilometers. B. About 10 million square kilometers. C. About 11 million square kilometers. D. About 9 million square kilometers. The answer is B. About 10 million square kilometers. Question. When is Remembrance Day celebrated? A. July 1st. B. October 6th. C. November 11th. D. November 20th. The answer is C. November 11th. Question. Where do you go to vote? A. Polling Station. B. City Hall. C. Police Station. D. Fire Station. The answer is, A. Polling Station. Question. From where does the name Canada come? A. From the Inuit word Kanata meaning nations. B. From Kanata the First Nations word for village. C. From the Inuit word meaning home. D. From the First Nations word meaning land. The answer is B. From Kannada the First Nations word for village. Question. Who can ask you about whom you voted for? A. No one. B. Any other Canadian. C. Your local MP. D. The Prime Minister. The answer is, A. No one. Question. Which region is known as the industrial and manufacturing heartland of Canada? A. Atlantic Provinces. B. Prairie Provinces. C. Central Canada. D. West Coast. The answer is, C, Central Canada. Question. Who among these is a Nobel Prize winning scientist? A, Gerhard Herzberg. B, Marshall McLuhan. C, Alexander Graham Bell. D, Harold Innes. The answer is, A, Gerhard Herzberg. Question. Who circled the globe in a wheelchair to raise funds for spinal cord research? A. Reginald Fessenden. B. Rick Hansen. C. Terry Fox. D. Gerhard Herzberg. The answer is B. Rick Hansen. Question. Which province has the largest population of aboriginals? A. Manitoba. B. Ontario. C. Nova Scotia. D. Alberta. The answer is, A. Uh, Manitoba. Question. Which province is Canada's main producer of pulp and paper? A. Quebec. B. British Columbia. C. Saskatchewan. D. Ontario. The answer is A. Quebec. Question. What is the final step before a bill becomes law? A. Approved by the king. B. Approved by the prime minister. C. Approved by the Governor General. D. Approved by a judge. The answer is. C. Approved by the Governor General. Question. Which of the following is the highest court of Canada? A. A. Provincial Court. B. The Small Claims Courts. C. The Supreme Court. 
D. The federal court? The answer is C. The Supreme Court. Question. Who is Canada's head of state? A. The Premier of Canada. B. A hereditary sovereign queen or king. C. The Governor General. D. The Prime Minister. The answer is, B. A hereditary sovereign queen or king. Question. Which was the last province to join Canada? A. Prince Edward Island. B. Manitoba. C. Newfoundland. D. Yukon. The answer is, C. Newfoundland. Question. Which of the following describe two responsibilities of federal government? A national defense and foreign policy. B. National defense and firefighting. C. Citizenship and maintaining highways. D. Healthcare and education. The answer is, A. Uh, national defense and foreign policy. Question. What is the head of the city called? A. Mayor. B. Councillor. C. Alderman. D. Premier. The answer is, A. Uh, mayor. Question. What types of jobs are provided by service industries? A. Communications and retail services. B. Transportation and education. C. Tourism and government. D. All answers are correct. The answer is, D. All answers are correct. Question. What is the tenure of the Governor General? A. Four years. B. Six years. C. Five years. D. Seven years. The answer is, C. Five years. Question. What was the main advantage of NAFTA agreement? A. Free trade among Canada the USA and Mexico. B. Free trade between Canada and China. C. Free trade between Canada and the UK. D. Free trade between Canada and Japan. The answer is, A. Free trade among Canada the USA and Mexico. Question. When was the current flag of Canada raised for the first time? A. 1921. B. 1965. C. 1949. D. 1892. The answer is, B. 1965. Question. Who suggested the name Dominion of Canada in 1864? A. Sir Leonard Tilly. B. Lord Elgin. C. Lafontaine. D. Sir John Alexander Macdonald. The answer is, A. Uh, Sir Leonard Tilly. Question. What is Canada's national winter sport? A. Lacrosse. B. Basketball. C. Hockey. D. Golf. The answer is, C. Hockey. Question. Which province is one of the most productive agricultural regions in the world? A. Manitoba. B. Saskatchewan. C. British Columbia. D. Alberta. The answer is, B. Saskatchewan.
Question. When does Canada celebrate Thanksgiving? A. The second Monday of October. B. The first Friday of October. C. The first Monday of September. D. The first Monday of July. The answer is A. The second Monday of October. Question, what document made Confederation legal? A. The Immigration Act. B. The British North America Act. C. The Citizenship Act. D. The Charter of Rights and Freedoms. The answer is, B. The British North America Act. Question. What is the minimum age for voting in federal provincial territorial and municipal elections? A. 18. B. 19. C. 21. D. 16. The answer is, A. 18. Question. Which of the following are the provinces responsible for? A. Defense. B. Foreign policy. C. Currency. D. Education. The answer is. D. Education. Question. What is Canada's system of government called? A. Dictatorship. B. Parliamentary government. C. Military rule. D. Communism. The answer is, B. Parliamentary government. Question. Who was Sir George Achean Cartier? A. A railway lawyer in Montrealer. B. The first French-Canadian prime minister. C. The first head of a responsible government. D. Canada's first Prime Minister. The answer is, A. A railway lawyer in Montrealer. Question, who started the Marathon of Hope? A. Rick Hansen. B. James Naismith. C. Sir Sam Steele. D. Terry Fox. The answer is, D. Terry Fox